Alright, and welcome back to the channel and another Let's Play episode. I think we're on episode 3. And, uh, well, as you can see here, well, a few things have changed. And, uh, well, we're in dungeon number 4 that uh, we c couldn't finish last time because, well, I won't lie, I honestly just forgot what to do. But it was uh, just a little, uh, one, of the, one of the rooms, I think just south of me. Um, one of these stones had to move. And, yeah, that was easy. Then, got the self the little ladder. It's up there at the top. And, here we are. But, I did go around and pick up a few things. Um, obviously, as you can kind of see, um, I did get the blue boomerang. Because, apparently, I'd forgotten that. Um, it's, it's the item that you get in, uh, du Dungeon 2. So, just completely missed it. Had to kill some of those blue, the blue, uh, boomerang, uh, throwers to get that um, then the most important thing is right up there at the top the blue ring which makes me look all nice and pretty here and what that does is that's basically for some of the late and well if you've only played some of the later entries it's a new tunic obviously it's quite you can kind of see but it uh cuts down um, damage I think by half and for this one and this boss that I have died a few times I won't lie um, it's definitely much needed. So, here we are. We're going to uh, hopefully kill this guy real quick and then get on to the next one. You know what? I don't even care if I get hit. We're just going to hurry and kill him. Because <laughs> why not? Alright, look at that. Ooh, start our second level. Only four hit points down. That's not bad. All right. And another piece of the Triforce, my friends. That is what I'm talking about. By the beard of Zeus, we're doing it. You can see there. Ooh. Starting to come together. We got ourselves a nice little house of Triforce. All right. And we're officially done with number four. And we can uh, get on to dungeon number five. All right, so. Found the issue is, well, we're gonna get a couple things and then we'll get over to, we'll get over to level five. First off, we're gonna grab the power bracelet. Yeah, I definitely ain't buying the U Lynels. What we got in here? Eh, I don't want to go in there. Right there. Power bracelet is done. This one is a buy something, will ya? I do want that better, better shield, but. I ain't got that much money. I do think you can get it cheaper in other places. But, uh. Yeah, I do know there's various. various little tips, tricks you can do. Or, not tips, uh, some of the secrets to get. Um. a lot more. a lot more money through like there's some the money making games like what you see guys what you see quite a bit in uh in some of the later versions but I figure I'm just gonna do it the good old fashioned way and just make the money don't let the money make you alright but also, what we're going to go get is one more heart piece. Because I do know there's some, if I'm correct. Basically, like out to sea. You got to have the, uh, the ladder. Want that heart piece? 
Yeah. Anything else to uh What is that too? I don't know, I don't think it's a dungeon. Oh alright, look at that. I mean it looks like a dungeon. Huh. Nice. Look at that. Well, so there you guys there you guys go. Get yourself a get yourself another heart piece right there. Well, there's nothing there. Ah, ah. Fire and ninjas are out to get me. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now that is a beautiful thing. It's like the water temple all over again. But the first things is, or well, went and got the couple more heart pieces. Or the, the, another heart piece here, which is going to, should enable me to get that better. The, uh, the best sword in the game, which I think they, well, I don't know if they call it the master sword or the uh, magic sword, who knows. This was the, uh, you know, I highly doubt they, they had the na that names like that for it. <laughs> Yes, or that that far far back but and then hopefully we'll be able to figure out our way into level five because it's nice all the other ones have been you know pretty easy like okay cool just go here find here this one not so much Oh yeah, look at it. That is beautiful. Alright, now we are cooking with gas. Killing stuff super easy. You know what? While we're at it, we're gonna go let's go get let's go get the magic shield. That one. Now you can buy it. A couple of places. I think I know right there is it's 130. But I have seen it cheaper somewhere else. Let's see. I think it's 90, so I should have just enough. Run away from the rocks! Run away! Bomb right there. Oh yeah. There we go. That's the magic shield. Ooh, look at that. All right. Now we're now we're gonna st now we're starting to look like we uh we know what we're doing. And the fact that we're halfway through the game already. Jeez. All right. So, oh, look at that. Can kill these regular Lynels in one hit. Oh, that is beautiful. It's so nice. So nice. That'll be able to kill the blue ones with one hit, but oh, look at that! My magic shield can can hide those away. All right, all right. All right. Oh, you know what? I think I'm. I won't lie. I'm looking at the map here. 
because I ain't, I ain't about to sit there and walk around try to figure out how to get into uh, dungeon number five. Because for no one wants to see that. But. Go back here. Go down here. Stay away from the creepy statues. Maybe go right into that door, apparently. Or those stairs again. Alright. So it says we're supposed to go in there. Take the right one. It says we're here. Now, what does it say? So we gotta go left, two screens. So we're going into the maze. So we are going into the maze, but we gotta apparently go from from here. Okay, so the trick says walk up four times in a row. That's it. So I had to go from, come from the left, four screens in a row. <laughs> uh, that's it. All right. That's funny. And dumb at the same time. All right. Let's try to bust through this really quick here, huh? Waste my bombs here. Creepy cats. All right. And just as a side note, so once we finish this one. We're going to. We're go I'm going to be starting the. Uh, I won't lie, one of, personally one of my favorites, but uh, it's definitely the uh, Black Sheep of the Zelda family, which is the second one. So it'll be the Adventures of Link. And the reason why I like that one so much is uh, that it has has a lot of those RPG elements to it. Um, it has. Let's try this here. Where you're. Like you're, you're gaining levels on your life, your magic, um, I think your defense and your and your attack, like all those. So, tried a lot more stride to do it, but I will say it is just brutally difficult. And I mean, all NES games are pretty hard, but like this one, you just die so much. The uh, bosses were just unforgiving, and just all around, like man, so difficult. Man, it's fun. I enjoy it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. So we'll be doing that next. It'll be a lot of fun. But uh, let me know in the uh, the comment section if if any of you've ever played it. If you well even want to want to see it get played. <laughs> um, but yeah, what are your thoughts on it? Um, I probably won't do do a full playthrough. Probably skip around, kind of like what I've done a little bit here, but probably more so that way throw on you prize so I don't you guys don't have to sit there and sh see me dying all the time because I definitely will be dying a lot way more than I have in this one but uh, and if you haven't already be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button and the bell icon down below as a uh, well my goal is to try to get to try to get to 50 I don't want to go that one uh, 50 subscribers by the end of the year so, it's a long shot, but, uh, you know, we got a dream, right? Yeah. God. Man, how did I, how did I ever live without, uh, this, this better sword and armor? 
It's like that moment when you, uh... There's gotta be something there. <laughs> it's like that moment when you don't wear glasses, or like either never had glasses or don't wear them for a long time. And then you finally get glasses and you're like, oh my goodness. I can see. I can see. There we go. Alright, so we got the flute. I won't lie. I honestly have no idea what the flute does. I can't select it. I'm pressing down, I can't select it. So, apparently it's just something that's supposed to be used at some point. Maybe. But, uh, yeah. Weird stuff. Let's go in here. key. Don't care too much about that. Let's go back through. Oops. I don't want to go through there. Two hit. Kill the mummies. Alright, and also, what do you guys, uh, if you guys have gotten some of the next-gen consoles, you know, uh, what have you guys been playing? Let me know. I've been, uh, I played through Demon Souls way too quickly. <laughs> but man, it was fun. And, uh, then, can I not go in there? How do I get in that door? I just want to go in the door. Um, and now I'm playing through the Spider-Man, Miles Morales. So that's been a lot of fun. Enjoying that quite a bit. And if not, if you don't have the next gen, um, let's see. What have I been playing that's not next gen? Well, obviously this. Um, me and my wife did start the, well, the first Hyrule Warriors when they ported it to Switch. So that's been fun. Um, yeah, because we did pick up the the uh, Age of Calamity, but we haven't uh, have started that. Because honestly, I don't think I don't think I've ever played Digar. Oh, certain kinds of sounds. Aha! That's what the flute's for, my friends. It's what it's all about. Why can't just be a good old, good old enemy? I don't want to use my bombs. I don't want to. Luckily, I guess these guys are going to be giving me bombs. Come on. I don't know if I use them all. Whew. Come on, didn't give me any bombs? Some bull crap? Ooh. There we go. Alright, alright, alright. Which way am I going? Oh, hello, map. I think it's the first time I've been out of keys in a long time. Yeah. And we're back in the game. Alright. That goes back down to the door that was always locked. Don't want that one. Um, which one didn't we go to? We got the map in that one. Here we go. Ooh, hello. 
Don't mind if I do. You know what I like? <laughs> Is that with that ladder, you can sit there and be in fr be in the be in the middle of it. The enemies can't. I don't believe they can get you. I don't think they can get in. Get in through there. So that's kind of nice. Oh, that's where the map was. All right. <laughs> and the compass. So I guess we did everything backwards this time. Normally it's the uh, the compass first, and then then the map, and then the item. But we're uh, we're crazy people. We're changing it up. All right. Well, now that we got everything, we should be able to just go straight on into the boss. If I can uh, just get one more, one more heart piece, that'd be really nice. That would just be oh so swell. Three for the price of one, I'll take it. All right. Looks like I don't know what to do. Does he not like fire? Oh, well, don't care about fire. Bombs? Don't care about bombs. Hm, it's weird. Apparently I can leave. Yeah. I'm so confused. So I said the the dig dogger hates certain kinds of sound. But I can't. Oh, there it goes. What the crap? That's the weirdest thing. So I can't press up or down. But I can do over. Wow. You learn something new every day. <laughs> yeah, that was the easiest thing ever. That's awesome. All right, number six, five is down. All right, people. Well, that's probably all we're gonna do for today. I'm gonna, uh, I'll probably play a little bit more and probably get to level level six. That way, for the next one, we're uh, ready to go. But, um, yeah. On that, thanks for uh, thanks for joining me. Hopefully, you've lasted you last this long. Um, again, uh, let me know down below if uh, well, if you if you played the second one, if you want to see the second one be played at all, um, or which uh, Zelda you want to see, and uh, hit that subscribe button, the bell icon, so you can stay up to date and all the fun stuff that we're doing. But uh, until the next time, we'll talk to you later.